go to online courses portal now we are going to see how to create the course intro page log in with the course admin id i have already logged in as noc 166801 it is a course id in my case once you logged in it is asking for hello just click hello after that you have logged in as the course admin id here you have the course intro page first it is showing us not registered first go to join give the name as central admin India Click the check boxes and give enroll. Once you have enrolled, you will be seeing the message. Thank you for registering for the course. And now you can able to access the dashboard for the course. Go to dashboard. Once you log in with the dashboard. You will be seeing this page. Here there are tabs like outline, assets, settings, rules, analytics, search, preview, post, stuff, and everything. First, we have to go for settings. Click settings. Then you will be seeing this basic page. In settings, there are so many options like course, home page, registration, units and lessons, etc. First, you have to go for home page settings. Give the organization. Sorry, first you have to go for the course settings. Here it is already taken the course admin ID as the course ID NOC 16C01. We are also adding another ID for our reference and checking purpose. NOC admin at npdl.idm.ac.in. Give the both IDs as course admin IDs. And then we have to give the forum email ID so that the forum and announcement which we have created for this course will be visible on the course top page. First you have to give the forum email ID. NOC 16 CH01. Where is one?
Give the forum you are. for embedding. Give the announcement list to Warren and email ID. Here you have to give the course start date. It is not just confirmed, so I have not given the course start date. Check once whether the course ID has been given correctly in all the email list. Once it is done, click save. we have made the settings we are able to see the announcement forum tabs on the top of the course this is the first basic settings next one is we are going to give the home page settings Give the organization name as NPTEL online certification course, then give the course name. Then now we are going to give the course abstract and basic details for the course.
for filling this detail we will be receiving a template from the professor this is the template it is known as MOOC syllabus template here we will be having all the details which we require for the course builder first we are going to give the content as about the course here it is just select the content the title as about the course font should be Arial and 12 headings should be in bold and 30 Just paste the content we have copied from the template. Sorry. Give the URL as a link. Copy this URL to give it as a link in insert item. Go to this first button and paste the URL here. Then it will be a visible as a link. This is about the course. Then instructor details. First you have to add the photo of the instructor which will be provided in this template. save the image in the local machine before you have to give the uh, image we have to add the image in the asset for adding pdf and as uh, pdf and images we have to follow this step go to asset go to images and document for uploading any pdfs any documents and images we have to follow this procedure Go to images and document, upload to assert. Browse the file from the local machine. Once it get uploaded, it will be redirected to the assert page. We will be seeing this link. Just open the link and copy this link. We need the prof image here. So 
go to insert item select image and paste the URL which you have copied there double click it to resize the image to resize you can give the size here it is too small I think okay once the image got uploaded then give the instructor details below the image Then in extra course info, give the syllabus of the course. Always edit all the things in selecting the rich text. In case of introduction video, we have to upload the video here, video course ID here. I will show you the show you how to upload the introduction video in next step. First, we have to change the things which we have done. Just save it off. We can go and check now in the preview. We will be seeing all the details which we have added there in the course info page. You can see this now here about the course, about the instructor, syllabus, everything. Like this we can add any content which we want to display in the course info page.